All right, what up, everybody? This is Icky. Milano. And we're here breaking down She's the One. Jedi Danda Vichy Jeev Lekhe Hass Di Oye Kudi Jave Kad Di Kali Ja Jedi Danda Vichy Jeev Lekhe Hass Di Oye Kudi Jave Kad Di Kali Ja Jedi Billi Ya, Jedi Billi Ya All right, so this is one of the beat breakdowns a lot of people have told me to make. And honestly, we just been busy. You know, you been busy? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. We brought Millen back here to do She's the One. She's the one that's a pop, uplifting song. As soon as I got the Sony Baba vocals and I was listening to them, I was like, Millen's got to be on these just because he'll capture that essence of being Punjabi, but still give us a pop song, you know? Um, it's a happy song, uplifting song. I think that's the only, like, vision. I told you that we're going to do something. Like, with this song, we went into the studio and I was like, I want to make a happy song, an uplifting song, a fun song. Um, just give me give me some fun. So I'm yeah. gonna hand it over to Merlin, like tell me how yeah. you made this record and uh she's the one. Explain it. She's the one. So I remember uh literally the day we made this song, Icky he was driving to my house and he just sent me the vocals and he said, Yo, just start making something to this. I'm gonna be there in an hour. So I got the vocals, I started playing these guitar chords. I was like, Okay, that feels pretty good and then just laid down a couple layers. I think those very first layers were, um, I think it was this guitar. Yeah. So I had the vocals. I was just running the vocals. Playing guitar. And then I did a couple more. I did this one. Yeah, so I think Icky got to my house and I had that and he was like, sounds good, dope, let's rock with that. And I was like, sick, let's rock with that. So we just immediately started building the beat. Um, I think at that point I pulled out my OB6 synthesizer um, and I started layering synth pad chords over top of those guitar chords. So we got this layer. So all three of those on top of each other. Yeah, so we knew we wanted that Daft Punk sound. Yeah. We knew we wanted kind of like disco drums. So I grabbed a couple of just classic like drum sounds. Like heavy disco kick. There's like an accent kick in there. Oliver snare. Shaker. And then we needed claps for that feel good sound, you know? Did, 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 you, did you record those yourself too? Yeah. Claps? Yeah, actually, uh, these are my actual claps. Yeah. yeah look, Snaps and yeah. claps. That's a lot of layers, dude. Yep. You know, we do we do a lot of layers out over here, you know? <laughs> we, 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 we like to layer. Yeah, you like to layer, eh? We like to layer. That so sounds we, hard. we had all those and we had hi hat. And so like at this point crash symbol, at this point the beat's cooking and like it sounds pretty good. But it's lacking that bounce mm. still. So we had like all this stuff. And then at this point, at this point, Icky's like, yo, I'm going to airdrop you these Tableau loops. <laughs> Check it out. And then he tells me like exactly which ones to place into yeah. the beat. He's like, yo, number 17, like drop that. Like, these dun, are, dun, dun. yeah, these are um, <clears throat> Sunil Kalyan percussion loops like Tabla, Tolki, Tol, you have Tol in there too. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And, and I, I, I remember downloading them maybe a day earlier. And I was just saying, there's something missing. It's just that Punjabi groove of things. You know, there's a sound to the tabla, there's sound to the toki, just sounding the way they do. Um, and and so, yeah, and I was like, use exactly these ones. Because there's only really two rhythms in this, right? You got the verses and then you got the hooks. So I just knew, like, I, uh, in the verse, you use kind of the more open one. And then in the in the uh, chorus, you use the, you know, full, like, 
what do we call it in Punjabi? Um, so yeah, and and so you put them in. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, so this is the beat before the loops. And then after. I'll solo the drums. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But... Now it bounces. That's hard. Even, um... It's funny, like, usually I'll use a tad for something like this, a different instrument, tad. But you know that, that doo 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 doo, right? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what a tabla looks like? Like, no. Okay, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, you know, like a drum, but it's yeah. got a couple parts to it. And that thing is a hammer, that mm. doo doo, it's a hammer going across the skin. Gotcha. So it changes the sound of it. Gotcha. Because he's like pushing it deeper down and you bring it, like, which makes it tighter. Uh, so how, that's, what, that's what that noise is. Okay. So yeah, like that sound at that part. I remember when we put it in, it was just like, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, but it just hey. it just made it groove yeah. so much more better. You know, what I'm saying? like it's smooth, it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. Yeah, you got what you got to solo those double R's and the yeah, that's that. That's a double R. That's just accenting like yeah, yeah, and then so that's the chorus. In yeah. the verse, we have these ones. So Dolan, Dolki, yeah. It's more on the downbeat. Yeah. Yeah. So see how the grooves can change how everything feels as well, right? Yeah. Because you have the same drum loop going on on both choruses and the verse. Yeah. Right, and it all becomes. Right now it's more, yeah. Yeah. Boom. That's hard. Yeah, and then so at this point we needed a strong foundation for the song, a strong bass foundation. Mm -hmm. So we started playing with the Slim Fatty here, the Moog Slim Fatty. Kind of, I was like playing a bass line, Icky's like, oh, that sounds good, that sounds good. And I was like playing with the filter yeah. and and uh, I had it low and then he was like, okay, open it up. And then I opened up the filter and he was like, oh, it like, felt like the song's exploding at that <laughs> point. It's like, it sounded good. So what we did was we recorded that filtered down for the verse part. Then for the chorus, we just opened up the filter mm -hmm. and let it breathe a little more. It's the exact same pattern. Just, just opening the filter and letting those high frequencies through just made it feel bigger and made it feel more like, like a chorus. That's hard. That's yeah. so hard. And then on top of that, we have a couple more funky guitar layers that I added to make the chorus feel more also like larger once again. More that kind of Daft Punk sound. And some held chords with a nice 80s kind of chorus effect. And of course, some drones. Mm. With the pumper on it. Yeah, yeah. Pump it. With that side chain. That's so hard. The song breathes. You know, that I, I really like. It's all really side chain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, almost everything in the song has side chain on, yeah, so it's yeah.
Yeah, so for that part, I think uh, I think we we just needed to fill the part there. That was like the one thing that day that we didn't we didn't get down while Icky was there. He had to leave, but then he was like, "Yo, take the guitar rhythm or take the vocal rhythm and just play it on guitar, mm, like the exact same." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you know what it was? It was also like um, when Sony Pablo recorded these vocals, they were just like demos, right? So they would they recorded verse hook, verse hook. Not a full song. Yeah. Right? So I was like, the song's too short without like a, a, a without a piece there, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's also a Punjabi thing, like be, after our verses and hooks, like traditionally you pay a piece of instrumental mm -hmm. and then verse and hook and then instrumental but like that's her yeah. thing. Yeah. And so it just fit. Like it was cool because like you hear the vocal and then because you're playing the same like notes of the song. You're kind of still singing along. Mm -hmm. It feels like you're still singing yeah. along. It's know? just a hook. It's just a hook. It's just a different like variation on the hook. Very, uh, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. Keeps, but it keeps the vibe going. Nah, absolutely. So what do you have there? Two guitars? What is it? Yeah. So it's just. So what came in there? It's like a little short sweep right there. Oh yeah, the sweep. And then also, just one of our synth layers comes in to kind of pat it out. Also, I should point out this little rhythm here. Oh yeah, I showed you like the mandolin tonka. Yeah. Emulated it. I want a bazooki. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I have this this uh, Irish instrument called the bazooki, which is actually, it's like a Greek instrument, but then the Irish kind of stole it and made their own version of it. But it sort of sounds like, it, it's got that twang that kind of fits into this sonic palette. Yeah. So we just literally took two notes from it. And it's like. So at this point, the song is going, it's the second pre-chorus leading into the chorus. So we needed like a little transitional piece just to make the song feel like it's like once again transitioning into that bigger part. Mm -hmm. So I took the vocal and then just took a little piece of the audio and sent it into a reverb plugin that kind of just emulates a big room and kind of made the volume of it increase mm. going into that downbeat of the chorus. So sounds like this. It's pretty subtle, but it makes the uh, song really move into the chorus. And at this point in the second chorus, now we needed to build the vocal a little bit more. So we started to layer a couple of extra vocals on the on the main vocal. Of course, this was a vocal that was from quite a while mm -hmm. ago, and we only had the one track to work with, but Icky decided to get creative and begin to layer his own voice on top of the vocal, so. Yeah, usually it's like, we'll like get the artist to double it, right? Double it, harmonize it, but we didn't have the opportunity. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I was just like, you know what? Like, let, let's do doubles. Like, I'll sing along with it. And like, 
you know, Melon helped me with some harmonies you could sing. Like, ultimately, just uh, for some reason, it makes it sound like a crowd is singing it very subtly, just because I'm not him. Like, yeah. my voice is not him, yeah. right? So it's, it's like as if someone else is singing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it gives that kind of like feeling. Yeah, let's hear that shit. So we will just solo the first layer. So So for everyone who says this guy doesn't be singing on his songs and shit, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) he sings from time to time. From time to time. You gotta gotta find me. Yeah, yeah. You gotta gotta find me. Buried in there. (laughs) (laughs) He's He's the backing vocalist. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and then later in the course we ended up layering a couple extra harmony layers just to make it sound even bigger at that part for like the B part of the chorus so we got uh, we got these some harmonies and we have a couple extra reverb throws once again happening here. Yeah, that really helps to. Yeah, so at that part, there's a bit of a break in the drums, and we wanted to, like, the, the drums couldn't just keep going for the whole end of the song because it would feel, like, too repetitive, mm-hmm. so we needed to break up the drum beat and kind of take the drums away and filter everything else down and kind of make it go away so it's, like, getting tucked under a blanket for a second, and then it's rising back up to have another impact for the final end of the song. Yeah, so I just put all the sounds in the instrumental, in this instrumental group, and then did an EQ on that group. And then you can watch it here as I play it. like i told you this as well right was like it has to be fun and new and pop but we still got to respect him the i'm trying to say that he had a like he's still traditional or and like even though the instruments like other than the tabla and the dol and the toki everything else is western instruments but it was still like like just concepts like that like in our in tradition like we'll play the hook on an instrument after the hook like that's tradition stuff Mm -hmm. like that just felt like that's how we respect him yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, like, we use the way they made music back then, like, you know, hopefully this is what it would have been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we were there, yeah. right? And we we take the vocal and we use the musicality of the vocal as much as possible yeah. and, and frame our song around the vocal. Yeah. It's not, it's not, so it's not like a remix. It's like, that's like the starting point and we're building from that point. Yeah. We don't want to change the vibe. We want to just, like, build on it. Exactly. Just the vocals alone, it was like, first, obviously, it makes you get goosebumps for, you know, for some of us that grew up to Sony Baba, right? But it was at the same time, it was like, how do we, like, how do, yeah, again, is what, you, what you're saying is respecting his vocals. Like, you're taking his vocals and making some, making it around that to fit it. Mm-hmm. Like, we're just helping the vocals, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, right? And, yeah. and instead of over barring it we didn't put too many effects we didn't change up the the structure too much of no. the original we let it we, we let it be what it is yeah and then just did our own thing on it you know it, and this was a very fluid process too like the yeah. day that Iggy came over and we just sat down with it like the song was almost completely done in like six hours later like Dude. we we didn't second guess anything it was just like okay yeah. next sound next sound like sometimes songs take a lot of different tries but yeah. this one just kind of like very fluid process. You know, you know what it also was like, cause I, it's like, 
me knowing your music, just so it runs, it was an easy process to, like, you already had the beat, right? Mm -hmm. But this is, like, I knew this is exactly what I want, right? And, like, you have it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, mm -hmm. I could connect the both worlds, and it's, like, I also, like, have the confidence in, like, you know, how we did Chala as well. Like, you know how to listen to, um, you, you know how to kind of absorb our, absorb our culture, you know what I'm saying? Music, we could, like, find the swing, right? Mm -hmm. The swing is really important. We talk mm -hmm. about that. And finding the notes and, you know what I'm saying? Making it seem yeah. lively in our culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way tradition is, but it's still pop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's still new. And, like, yeah, when I think I came, like I told you, I, I called you and told you to start working on it, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know you'd have something, and by the time we got there, and literally, it was, like, four or five hours. I left home with a full demo. Yeah. To what it sounds like today without, like, mixing... And a couple of, I don't know, risers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was like, what we did after that point was like very minor tweaks. Yeah. Like, just adding a couple little, just, yeah, massaging a couple things, cleaning up the guitar a tiny bit. But honestly, like 85% of the song was just done after that day, which is and, like always a good feeling. And like, a good feeling because it's like, I think we went in there, like the whole motive was like, even with the video and even with, you know, the whole project itself, the rollout and stuff was like, like, it should feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like that, this... You know, this this person who's passed away 16 years ago, R.I.P., Sony Baba, like, he's, like, that he's able to bring us back, you know, 16 years later, he's still, like, our, our like, something that brings us together. Yeah. You know, like... And, like it's a celebration song. It, it's a celebration song, right? And, like, you can feel that in the music. You feel happy listening to this song, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, when we were making it, it would have not made sense if we were frustrated with each other. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. Right? Like, yeah. we thought of the song as just a feel good. Like, so that's why I felt like everything that we were getting in layer by layer was just, we we're going off of our own, like, feeling. Yeah. That, like, oh, this feels good. Yep. If yes, then cool, let's do it. Good. If it doesn't and, feel good, it's all right. It's, and don't overthink it. Don't just, over like, yeah. just let it happen. It, let, it was going, the, the momentum was moving, so we just kind of let it. Yeah, and just let it happen, and it turned out amazing. No, nah, I'm 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 very happy that you were part of this song, man. Like, this is an awesome song. Hell yeah, let's go, let's go, baby. All right, yo, this is Millen. This is a man like Icky. She's the one.